Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. I just wanted to quickly share something. You probably noticed my colleague Zoltan Feher and I have been sharing funding opportunities like fund, um, you know, funding opportunities for development projects, non-profit projects, organizations and things like that. And these are great opportunities. And uh, the reason we share them is we want people uh, that are working on development projects to benefit from them. And we know and many of our contacts are working in great projects like building a school in remote areas or trying to empower the teachers and things like that. Um, or empowering women and all those uh, you know great causes. So what uh, many of these organizations, these uh, great people are lacking are funds. I mean, they can't scale up their projects and, you know, they, they need funds. Uh, however, the other side of the scenario is that many organizations are actually giving out funds. And around the year, uh, you probably, if you go into our profile, you would see that we share so many funding opportunities. And many of these organizations actually do not get enough quality uh, applications. So one reason, and many of uh, the organizations that need funds are actually not aware of these opportunities. That's one of the reasons we share. And still, it can be a bit overwhelming. Like we, we get people asking us, oh, can I apply? Would I uh, qualify? Or, you know, is this is really interesting. Uh, can I apply for these funds and things like that? But the thing is, is, it can be a bit too much, too a lot, and in terms of um, you know how you do that, how you approach fund uh, funding or getting funds for your projects, and there are many options as well. So what uh, Zoltan shared, uh, I think yesterday or something, that we are working on a course where we would actually break it all down to very simple step how you actually look at why you need need funds to start with is like having a very compelling case like why uh, you, you need funds so that people can see that yeah actually that's a great cause to fund and then are you ready for getting the funds and also what are the options for you I mean you you may hear things like crowdfunding you know and that can be done in many ways you may hear organizational funding corporate donors individuals you know all those different options and that also can be a bit too much so i think we we are going to really break it down like what are the options for you in terms of funds like how you can get funds for your projects what are the ways you can get them and really coming up with your own fundraising strategy like crafting your own fundraising strategy so we are going to cover things like those like you know making sure you know yourself in terms of funding and then um, looking at what are the funding options, are you ready to receive funds? Next step is like, okay, so there are so many options, can I do all? Probably not. So pick something that makes sense, that is really at the level where you are and all those things. So considering your current situation and then really looking into the um, the fundraising strategy that would be good for you, appropriate for you, crafting your fundraising strategy. And then we will look at implementing that. So for example, organizational donors, um, they would want applications. You would need, you can uh, be a registered or non-registered organization, but you have to put in a very good and clear application or proposal in, in most cases. So for that, you need that skills, like how you write a good proposal. That's a crucial part of that. Uh, or if you are going to go for crowdfunding, for example, again, you need to have a compelling case, a very good pitch, people can see and, you know, all those. So once you decided your strategy, then how you implement that and what are the key things you need to do that? Things like writing good proposal, things like following up, things like putting together a system where you actually do that on a continuous basis. It's like not like, okay, oh, we need some funds, ask some people and then forget about it doesn't work like that. I mean, I have worked in, you know, big projects where we used to have a system where we follow up in terms of proposals, what comes in, regularly check and kind of go through a list, had a top target, like which ones we want to go for and all that. So those are 
the system, I mean, this is the system I'm talking about. Have a simple system that works for your organization and you can do it on a regular basis. So maybe you submit an application, but you don't get fund, but then you get, uh, you know, another one and all that. So these are the things we are going to cover in the course. And we just wanted to have your views and comments as well. So please, please share your comments and thoughts whether you think that would be useful and if you would be interested because we we may take very limited number of people in uh, to uh, you know the first uh, time basically first batch so here is what we would like to do we would like to create this course that actually takes you from your current state assuming that's like no organizational fund or no external funds uh, for your projects to a place where you actually have a system which allows you to regularly seek funds and get funds. So, you know, if you follow all the instructions in the course and exercises, then you would be in no time, you would get funds for your organization, whatever the amount is. I mean, you know, depending on your capability, your projects and things. Um, so that's, that's the objective of the course on a high level. So please let me know your comments and any questions you have, anything you'd like to be covered and uh, tag anyone, any of your friends who might uh, be interested in this course. And, uh, you know, we would like to consider and uh, keep this in mind while we uh, complete the course. So thank you very much and uh, look forward to hearing from you.